Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering the anime movie in this corner of the world. Based on the manga of the same name, it follows the life of Suzu Urano, a young bride with her new family living on the outskirts of Kure City during the Second World War. Mm -hmm. And Mama actually found this, I can believe it, at the, the dollar, dollar store. store. Oh, yeah. And I had heard of this only because Netflix had at the time. I'm not sure if it's even on there anymore because they've been kind of removing we a lot of the it. anime. Yeah, we did see but, it. Yeah, I'd be like, well, we own it now, so. And it was totally unlike what we expected it to be, mm -hmm. but it was a very good anime. Very right. good anime movie. Right. And it's not it's not like a lot of these others where you see there's this, like, there's slapstick here and there's all these different themes in here. They're pretty much straightforward with the story and uh, the events, they don't really go through all of these different subplots and stuff. It's just pretty much things that are happening during this war. And he's, um, what's happening with the um, citizens, or her in particular, and how the war has affected a lot of these people every day for years. Mm -hmm. And you get to see the day-to-day -day happenings and the authentic lifestyle of the characters mm -hmm. of the people who existed during that time, mainly between 40, 1944 and 1945. And it was a very simple life, very simple ambitions. Um, what's kind of surprising is you see this girl and her friend, and you see their relationship as children, mm -hmm. and you assume Suzu's going to end up marrying him. But that doesn't happen because... Another guy who saw her and thought she was pretty came and asked her parents for hands in marriage, mm -hmm. and she married him. And oh, of wow. course, for us, this was like a shock, yeah. because this isn't how it is now, but you forget in other cultures around the world, this is this was the standard mm -hmm. that someone would ask for marriage. Maybe they're higher in stature or position. The parents give the okay, and then some cases are even betrothed mm -hmm. at a very young age. So, so it was kind of like that with this situation. And once right. they heard all oh, the proposal, it was like, yeah, we well, approve, go ahead, do it. And it was like, wow, you're kicker. You're you're uh, eager for this, aren't you? <laughs> and the thing is, the, the, the husband serves the military, but he's not serving as a militia soldier. Right. But the friend is a soldier. Mm -hmm. And when he comes to visit... He clearly still has feelings for Suzu. Mm -hmm. And what was another odd thing for us is the husband was like, you know, he's got one day here, and he pretty much was telling her, you can go it's ahead. It's a pass, yeah. And, right, and it's a pass, but she didn't do it. Right, I'm kind of surprised because, like you say, usually in movies now or made in the West, a lot of this is now so commonplace that it would be no surprise. For them to not go that route was more of a shock than them going it mm -hmm. for it. And what was really, again, interesting for me is seeing the day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. The simplicity, what they took joy in, and the beauty, of course, of the landscape and the surroundings. Mm -hmm. And... The interactions between the characters, mm -hmm. not only with her own family, but with the family of her husband. So it, it, it was interesting. We watched the entire thing. Not once were we bored. Not once were we thinking, mm -hmm. you know, looking at the clock or seeing the time. It's very engaging, very interesting. And it's like you're getting the view, this world of pre-Hiroshima and uh, the damage... Uh, from the atomic bomb, mm -hmm. the people of this life in like a little time capsule. Mm -hmm. And you get to see the beauty and simplicity of their lives before it happened. And then you get to see the resolve and the strength of the people after. Some pretty horrific incidents are, uh, are they're not depicted, but they're hinted at. Right. Or you Let's understand see. these things took place, but mm -hmm. they're not graphic. Right. And then you see the strength of the people after. Right. And how they continue to find beauty in the day-to-day -day right and even in the memories of the loved ones they right. lost so right. it's actually a really beautiful movie yeah very and like kind of like the Miyazaki films we have been seen at the time 
the movie is two hours or slightly more. Mm -hmm. And we actually got to see the full thing because we learned there's actually an edited down version. Mm -hmm. And it kind of changed the story slightly in terms of removing some characters, making their roles less significant, or cutting things that they would believe were like just too long or didn't do much for the movie and just edit it out. Mm -hmm. But for us, luckily, we saw the entire thing. So it might be a good thing we didn't see it on Netflix because they might have edited it out. Mm -hmm. And while we didn't know it was a manga, the DVD we got had a (laughs) free chapter you get to read. And it pretty much does it almost line for line or scene for scene. So it's another case of adapting as closely as possible to the original story. And... That's one of the best things for movies like this is that they keep what makes the story engaging to watch, what makes it beautiful, rather than doing all sorts of edits, changes, adaptations. We're going to do this so Western audiences will like it and so forth. They just stick with what's being told and that's it. Mm-hmm. As far as the voice, cast the English dub, one favorite in it was Todd Havercorn. He was Shusaku Hojo. Uh, Suzu's husband Mm -hmm. and we were pleasantly surprised to find out it was him because he wasn't doing his I guess you could say his trademark sound in his voice right when he does uh other characters Mm -hmm. so we were really surprised and very happy most of the other act uh, voice actors we aren't familiar with uh Laura Post Barbara Goodson Kirk Thornton Kira Buckland Kenna Pickard Michael Sorridge uh, we're not familiar, Michael Chapman, we're not familiar with them, but we think they did a great job mm-hmm. in conveying the emotions, the feelings, and the story itself. And another thing I did want to mention, too, is that they also showed, as I mentioned, in that simple day-to-day life during that time, how they had the rationing and the mm-hmm. tickets to buy food and things, mm-hmm. and how they were making their own clothing. And again, even during these times, they still found ways to be uplifted and ways to find beauty and enjoy it around them. Right. So I think it's a must see um, for any age, especially if you're younger and like us, neither of us experienced World War II at all or they've been surrounded. You know, you just studied in school and maybe you've possibly heard stories from older family members. But this itself is a beautiful anime, historic anime, that's what I would call it. Mm -hmm. Um, The category they put it in is... um, Well, I don't know, would it be called like a period piece or something since it's taking place in a big event in history? Yeah, I I would call it historical anime. I'm not sure what it would be actually called Mm -hmm. in Japan. But to me, it was a historical anime. And, uh, well, oh, oh, they call it a drama. Oh, okay, a yeah, war t- drama. wartime drama, okay. Mm-hmm. And we've also seen that it's won many, many awards throughout the years from the time, I, I think, for the manga, mm-hmm. for the story itself, and then with the movie adaptation. It's won a lot of awards, and it's considered, it has given a lot of praise, too. Mm-hmm. So, it's definitely worth a watch. It's usually four or five star ratings. Yes. And you probably won't be able to tell on Netflix, like we said, because the rating change thing they did. Mm-hmm. So, you definitely would like to watch it, because it's a very well done movie. This was co-released by Funimation. Thank you, Funimation, for bringing us so much fantastic and wonderful anime, Mm -hmm. whether it's a movie or a serial form. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate the telling of this story that was done through uh, a retelling using old photos, documents, and memories of actual living people. Mm -hmm. Wonderful job. As you said, beautiful, reminiscent of Miyazaki. And if you haven't seen this movie, we definitely recommend it either... As Rascal said, checking out on Netflix or buying it. If you get it for a dollar, great. If not, it's worth what you pay for it. If you have seen this movie in this corner of the world, let us know what you think in the comments below. And if there are any that are similar that you would recommend for us to watch as well. Right. So, and be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates on new Paws podcasts. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Oscar Entertainment. And I'm... Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. Sayonara. And the board is sitting, flashing lights. Trying to walk around, man. Who the hell are you? What you want to do? My man is on you. Man is on you. Better in my dreams. She was my queen. A castle in the mountaintops, rivers, and streams. Fucking
sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give 